what is the best real estate to invest in? What you're gonna learn today is 18 different types of real estate, strategies and ways that you can invest, how you can invest in the property without ever owning it, 39 ways to make money with real estate. Let's talk about the different types of real estate. So you've got residential real estate, right? So in residential real estate, you're dealing with condos. This is an individually owned in a building that has common areas owned by everyone. So basically it's in a building, um, everybody owns the outside and the amenities, but you own the inside of your individual unit. That's a condo. Then there's condo tells. These are individually owned units that can also be used for nightly rentals. Like they have food service, like a restaurant or something like that. They have a concierge desk. They have daily cleaning. Those are condo tells. Uh, then we have manufactured homes. Manufactured homes are on steel chassis and they allow them to be transported, mobile homes or trailer parks. Um, modular homes are different than mobile homes. We get this question a lot. Similar to manufactured homes, but they don't have axles or frames. Much easier to get financing on if you're a mo mobile or a modular rather than a mobile home. Then we're dealing with what we call plexes, two, three, and four plexes. This is similar to multi-units, but they can get a single family financing, meaning if it's four and under, you can typically get a single family loan on them. They're much easier to finance. Um, there are one building with two to four units and they all have shared walls within them. Then we talk about multifamily. You have four units plus properties, meaning it's a fiveplex, a sixplex, a twentyplex. That's all going to be a multi-unit uh, property. Excuse me. Next, we're going to talk about second homes or recreational properties. This is like a cabin on a lake, a home, a condo that has vacation appeal. Um, and then we get into just single family. That's a one stand alone dwelling. Um, is just a single family dwelling. Townhomes or row homes, single family homes with a shared wall. No one is above you or below you. You have common space, but nobody's above or below you. Uh, and we talk about a little bit of commercial properties. This could be an office, an office condo to skyscrapers, anything used for business. So it could be a standalone building up to a skyscraper uh, that's rented to office. Um, retail and restaurants. These are shopping centers, grocery stores, outlet malls, standalone. Um, all of that is going to be included in, now we get into multifamily. Um, this is a complex or a high rise, typically with more than a fourplex. Uh, next, we talk land, raw land, pad sites are improved but not built on anytime we're dealing just with land. Um, next, we're talking about industrial, which is manufacturing, warehouse. You also have just miscellaneous, so non-residential like hotel, medical, or self-storage. Uh, now let's talk about the different ways to invest. So we've talked about all the different types of uh, real estate that's out there. Now let's talk about the different ways you can actually invest in these. Okay, so find it, um, wholesaling. Find the property, get it on a contract, and sell the contract to somebody else. This is basically where you're getting paid to find a good deal and tie it up. Then you sell your contract and somebody else takes it over. Our members have access to our entire course on how to wholesale properties. This is another one, find it and be an agent. Become a licensed agent, find deals and sell them to get a commission. This is another way to do it. Uh, on Course Learning has real estate agent uh, courses if that's something you're interested in. Um, I don't recommend if you primarily want to invest, uh, but it may be a way for you to get started in real estate. That's how I got my start. Uh, lend money against it, hard money lending. Um, if you got some cash, you could be a hard money lender or you could be a private money lender. You can pool money, you can go directly. You can use your money to do part or all of a loan against a specific property. It's another way to, to make some money in real estate investing. Uh, you can also broker the loan. You can become a loan broker of hard money that also sources. Um, so you basically source the deal for somebody else. Uh, you can be a lender and you can lend gap financing. What gap financing is, if somebody has a deal and they're shy ten or twenty thousand dollars of making a deal happen, you can give your money to make up that ten or twenty thousand dollars, and then you can get paid an interest rate, a profit split, or a combination um, of both. Manage property management. Uh, get a free or manage the property. Get a fee or manage the property. Meaning, um, you can manage the properties for a fee basis, um, or you could also do an equity split. This could be short term. This should be long term. In many cases, a real estate license is required if you want to be managing properties. Uh, you can buy, fix up, and resell the property. Buy the property, fix it, and add value, and sell the property for a profit. 
Uh, you can buy, fix, and long-term hold for cash flow where you add value, you make it better, you raise the rents, and then you make cash flow that way as well. Uh, buy and rent. You can buy the property simply to rent it, get it rented, don't do big repairs on the property. You can buy for appreciation, also known as speculation. Uh, you buy, you have plans that the values will actually go up in that area. This could be in the in the way of progress, meaning you're moving into an area where you know progress is coming, but it's a ways down the road. You can buy a property and do an Airbnb um, where you're doing like a nightly rental or short-term rental. Remember with this one though, you are in the hospitality business. And that's something a lot of people get confused about is that they don't realize that if you're doing this, you're really in the hospitality business. Um, buy change of use, highest and best use, meaning you could have something that you change from single family to commercial. You could have something where you split two lots, um, one lot and it becomes two. Um, another way that we're gonna talk about here is lease options. You can buy on a lease option or you can sell on a lease option. A lease option is someone has the right, not the obligation uh, to purchase the property, which can be great because you can sell it to somebody. You, you could sell a property to somebody on a lease option where they're paying rent and then later they actually buy the property from you or you can buy the property on a lease option. Great, great options here. Uh, meaning the right, not the obligation like we talked about. Seller financing. You can buy on seller financing. You can also sell on seller financing. It's a really great strategy. Next, we'll talk a little bit about general partnerships. You can raise money for deals. This is typically commercial type deals. Then you have limited partnerships where you invest in other people's deals as a minority. Typically, this in, involves some investment capital. Then we can talk about stocks and REITs. So REITs are companies that are owned and operated and managed for real estate assets. So that's basically they're investing in different types of real estate. They're traded on the stock exchange. You can buy them at your local brokerage account. Um, there are also ETFs or elect, exchange traded funds that are with REITs. For example, Vanguard, uh, ticker symbol VNQ, is one of those examples for educational purposes. Uh, crowdfunding, uh, Realty Mogul, CrowdStreet, these things are where you can crowdfund different real estate deals or you can put money in and do do deals on that house hacking this is a hybrid of buying a home for use of primary residency and a rental property basically you buy it you rent out the rooms you airbnb rooms um, you sell the property later um, you it's easy to get loans uh, you can rent all or part of your home. You can rent out extra spaces of your home. For example, garage, uh, storage, attic. If you're not familiar with Neighbor, uh, it's a service where you can actually put your um, vacant space on there, like a garage, the, half the garage you're not using, or a bedroom you're not new, using. And you can let somebody else rent that where they can store stuff in it, not live there, but store stuff. Your Airbnb is on those things or where you can actually rent uh, to somebody. Uh, build a home. Many times a city will let you be an owner builder. Uh, you can build the home to live in it. You can build in it, live in a while, then sell the property. Um, what else can you think of? Um, if I left anything out, you can, you can put it in here, leave it in the comments and uh, let me know. Um, so, uh, questions. Uh, what do you guys think? What are some things that you guys are wondering about in different types of real estate that we haven't yet covered today? Please type in the comments while I get a drink here. Um, got a question from Scott. Short-term rental house hacking is interesting. Yeah, it really is. Uh, the big thing with Scott is you just got to realize you've got to be in the, you're in the hospitality business. Real estate's just the vehicle, but you're really in the hospitality business. And a lot of people don't understand that so they can get themselves in trouble. So make sure you've got a good property. Make sure you're good into the property as to how much you've invested into it. Uh, you've got to make it super nice. You've got to worry about linens and experience and gift baskets and all that type of stuff. Um, a lot of people try and go cheap when they talk about the um, Airbnb or short-term rentals and they get themselves in trouble with that. Um, so just be really, really careful. Um, okay. Um, what have you had success with? What types of investments have you had success with? What investments are you interested in? Please put it in the comments. What have you had success with? Put it in the comments here. Put it in the chat. What are you interested in investing? So I can help me a good idea. Please leave comments for us so we can know um, what is interesting for you. Um, our complete system that takes brand new investors through flipping their first home is called our Find Fund Flip System. 
dozens of hours of training, deal finding software. It includes our Investor's Edge. A few of you said you were interested. It also gives you access to 100% financing loans. Just go to dohardmoney.com backslash get started. Again, dohardmoney.com backslash start, get started if that's of interest to you. Got a couple of questions here. I want to use your loan to build my rental portfolio. Is that easy to do? Great question, Ryan. I would recommend you watch our Burr B R R our video on YouTube. Uh, it goes through buy, renovate, um, rent, and then refinance. Um, or you can give us a call. We can talk about details and see if we're a good fit for each other. Um, and I'd say, Ryan, I don't think real estate investing is easy. I think it is simple. Uh, meaning it's a simple process, but in practicality, it's not easy. It takes a lot of work. It's simple, but not easy. Um, it takes a lot of work. Uh, Sako had a difficult time finding reliable, affordable contractors. Any tips? Uh, yeah, I think uh, one of the things I like, Sako, is um, I like to go after, there's typically in each city, there's a rental um, association or an apartment association. Lots of times there will be contractors that are looking to get business on a repeat basis and not spend money on marketing. Uh, so I like to go after those. Um, and so you can you can get a, a directory and you can call some of those. So I like rental associations. We're also working on a video right now on how to find contractors for our members um, that'll be coming out hopefully in the next week um, that goes into details of different ways to find contractors. I hope that helps. Um, Sako had success with mixed use properties, interested in those, but SFH is of interest to single family houses. Uh, feel strange about condos and townhouses. Yeah, I can understand that. One thing about condos and townhouses is they're the first to go down in value and the last to come up. So I think you just got to take that into consideration. And it also depends on where you're investing, what state you're investing in. Uh, Maurice Wright, interested in multifamily deals. Fantastic. Scott Richard, uh, been doing it for a year now. It's been great. Want to do another, uh, another, but don't have the funding. We'll be looking for fix and flips, but Colorado Springs is a tough market. Yeah, Scott, um, maybe we could even help you out with the funding. I don't know. Give us a holler. Um, we can talk about some specifics. Thanks for the feedback on that. Um, if you want to get your free assignment of contract, we talked about doing wholesaling. Uh, this is an assignment of contract form. You can just go over to dohardmoney.com backslash assignment of contract. And actually, I probably should... Ah, um, I probably should just put these in the chat to make it super easy for you. Um, so I'm just going to throw that in here. Make it easy if you want to click on this. Hopefully it works. Let me know. And then the other one I want to shoot over to you here is if you're interested in the in the get started. This might be interesting to you. I'll just throw it in the chat um, if that can be helpful to you. Um, take, take a look at that as well. Uh, but yeah, so this is our contract. Um, that you can use if you want to do an assignment. If you want to get a free copy of it, just go over here and we'll get you a free copy of it. Um, just a, a reminder, what you missed last week, if you haven't watched this, I highly recommend it. Uh, for rent by owners, how to find properties that most people overlook, easy ways to get sellers to answer their phones, uh, timing, finding the right person at the right time, time finding properties with no marketing expenses that's just huge and i've referred back to a ton of videos that we've been talking about today so check us out on youtube make sure you give us a thumbs up leave the comments future live casts there is a lot that we can go over <clears throat> my question to you is of these or anything else you're interested in what would you like to hear for future live casts please type it in the chat um, or leave it on the recording Leave it on the recorded video. Okay, wholetailing. This is the idea. Wholetailing is a whole thing of you get a property and rather than retailing it, um, rather than wholesaling, you actually retail it. So it's kind of a difference between, it's a mix between a wholesale and a retail. Uh, determining repair costs, coronavirus investing, analyzing rents. What of these things are you interested in? Please type it in the comments here so we have a really good feel. Choosing good contractors, virtual wholesaling, finding cash buyers, seller financing, contractor bids, determining rental price, what makes good rental properties business partner deep dive, preparing for cash flow, uh, reverse wholesaling, finding cash buyers, deep dive, seller negotiating at the kitchen table, burr, income properties, sales skills, uh, closing a deal, all the players, uh, action properties, uh, subject to deals, determining repair amounts, 
buying re properties remotely, making offers sight unseen, or something else. If any of these are interested to you, please type them in the comment section um, or in, in the recorded video or the live video. All right. If you enjoyed what you heard today, please share it. Share the link on YouTube. Share it with others. Share it with friends. And also check out my podcast um, on Income Hacker. Um, that's on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, wherever you listen to um, wherever you listen to podcasts. You can even get it uh, on your home device, your um, Amazon. Uh, what's it called? Uh, your Google Home and that type of stuff. You can listen there. Just say play Income Hacker podcast. Okay. Um, would like to hear reverse wholesaling. All right, Maurice. I appreciate that. Um, Sako would like to hear more about choosing good contractors. Burr. Um, the Burr, we've got the video on. Remember that. You can go back and watch the Burr. Making offers without seeing properties. Also, something else. No money down. Okay, great. I really appreciate that. Okay. Um, last week's winner... Um, I've got to get this week's winner, but Dwayne Nix won our swag of the week for last week. So um, what we're looking for is comments, interaction during and uh, the the live video and also on the recorded video. Um, and so our winner for this last week, and let me get this stuff out again. Again, we're going to be shipping you this entire box of goodness. Uh, so we've got the hats, we've got the bottles, we've got the sports bottles, we've got you name it, all that stuff we went through earlier, the jump ropes, the stress houses, all that type of stuff. This is this week's winner. Remember, um, we'll be having a winner for next week. We already showed you what we're sending out on that. Our winner, we need a drum roll. Um, da -da 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 -da. Actually, hang on. We got another question. Do you work with mortgage brokers? Um, that just depends, Mark. Give us a call um, and, and we can talk about it. So our winner for this last week's um, swag winner of the week is Sharon Z. Sharon Z, thanks for being with us. If you're here today, shout it out because um, we'd love to see you. Sharon, what we need you to do, and also, who is the, who is the guy the week before? I don't know. Dwayne, if you haven't claimed yet, um, what you need to do, uh, and Sharon, is to claim it. Go to support at dohardmoney.com. Um, subject is swag winner. In the body, you put your screen name because everybody's names are a little bit different. And put your mailing address, your cell phone number, and your email address. And we will be able to get you this whole um, swag bag coming out to you. Um, Siku, thanks for the kudos for Sharon. Sharon, congratulations on the win. Make sure you claim it uh, by sending us an email with these details. Um, again, supported you our money swag winner, um, screen name, email, cell phone, um, and then email address, which you would have had because you emailed it to us. So um, if you want to get some more swag today, if anybody wants to earn like a swag bag like this that we can send to you, um, if you want to help us out, what you basically need to do is just email support at dohardmoney.com. Uh, just put in the subject line, earn free swag, and um, we'll send you some details on how you can help us out, um, how you can help grow our channel and those things. And if you're willing to help us out with that, it takes just two seconds. Uh, well, probably not two seconds, probably two minutes. Um, we can send you out a swag bag as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, next week, same time, same place, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, let us know what topic you would like to hear. Leave the comments on the um, recorded video. Leave them in the live chat here. Um, and most importantly, guys, make it a very profitable day. Thank you so much for being with me.